First, hello everyone, and thank you for watching my video. I'm Yogi's Electronics. Also, to the problem. My good friend's daughter somehow or sometimes set the password for the firmware. And the Mac ran for two to three years with no issue. Then the hard drive broke, and they thought they still had a guarantee on the device. Which unfortunately isn't true. At the Apple store, people replace the hard drive. And he would have to pay 280 euros for what he did. But for the password reset, Apple demanded 450 euros, which was too expensive. First, press the option button to enter recovery mode. You can't get to recovery mode without a password. The only way around this is to replace the EFI BIOS chip. What we are going to do now. The chip can be found online anywhere. Price is around 30 euros, and I took a pre-programmed chip. With this tool, is the easiest way to separate the LCD from the housing. You just have to be careful with the tool when you cut through the glue, don't go in too deep. Now be careful when you open the LCD, you must be careful in this step because the two connectors are very delicate. If you make a mistake, you can practically throw the LCD away. So you have to unplug these two connector to separate the LCD. On the second connector below, you have glued two-sided adhesive on it. I suspect that someone at the Apple store wasn't paying attention when opening it. He very likely tried to fix the connector with the glue. I hope this doesn't cause any further problems. The second connector has a metal lock, which fixes the connector so that it cannot jump out. I will unlock the metal fuse carefully with tweezers. Now you can carefully fold the LCD, all the way down and detach it from the housing. And then we can work freely on the main board. As you can see, in the Apple store, they didn't even clean the fan. there we have the EFI chip. Normally, I build out the complete main board, when I work with my workstation. But since the people in the service did a sloppy job, I didn't want to remove the main board. I discussed everything with my friend, and he gave me his okay. If you work like this, you must quickly desolder the chip so that other components do not get damaged. Pay attention to the direction in which you direct the heat. I will now refresh the solder points with fresh solder. And don't forget always use the flux, it's very important. As you can see, with the flux, everything is smoother. Mm -hmm. 
Now I have to clean the board and the soldering points with the isopropyl alcohol or with PCB cleaner. I will melt the solder points first, with my rework station, because I don't want to heat the chip too much. After soldering, you always have to check if the soldered points are soldered well. I have successfully completed the task. Now I should assemble everything. But since I don't have the adhesive strips, I'll put everything together temporarily and test in a separate room. Unfortunately, because of this epidemic, you have to wait longer than usual for orders. Since the chip is pre-programmed, there should be no problems. You have to completely remove the old adhesive strips and clean the housing with isopropyl alcohol. When you install the new adhesive strips, they must fit perfectly. As already said, the device will start without any problems, and the password is also gone. Thank you for watching my video, take care and stay healthy, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.